The default performance of the Giroud V6 engine is quite poor. That's the reason why there are many alternatives being Yolt and Rapier 3D, the two main ones. Today we are going to, we are going to be comparing both Yolt and Rapier 3D for you to know which one is the best for you to start using in your current projects. Let's do a super quick project overview. So what we have uh, here are the basic nodes in order to be able to create a 3D scene being a 3D node, the directional light, the world environment and a 3D camera. On top of that we've got uh, the environment, basically these are the um, different uh, walls and the ground and the floor okay, that we are going to be using in order to perform this test. In addition to that, we've also got this super simple UI that the only thing that it has is basically the time that has passed since we started playing and also an uh, FPS counter. We have this main script that basically what it's doing over here is that it is counting uh, the current FPS. Also, it is adding the current time and then displaying it over here and also every uh, 0.005 seconds we are spawning a ball with this code over here then this code shouldn't be over here so let me delete it the code uses the best code practices possible basically using static typing to ensure the best performance uh, as possible and overall the code is the cleanest as is the cleanest as possible i i would say then in terms of the vault, we've got a rigid body and as you can see it has no options that have been um, modified and then it has the corresponding uh, collision shape. You can also check here in the project files that well I have the add-ons folder with both Yolt and Rapier 3D. I have the two scenes and uh, the main script I, and I also have here the export presets. Since then uh, we are going to be exporting the project for Windows. So that again we make sure that we are running this at the highest frame rate possible and at the highest performance as possible. Let's get started trying out YOLT's performance. So let's open this up and we are going to see. So as you can see the performance is quite quite solid. We are getting something like more than 100 FPS in more than 7 seconds. And well as you can see the amount of balls that we get is quite massive. The game starts to break in something like 14 seconds, so it is indeed quite an interesting amount of time that we are able to survive. And also, what you can check is that the behavior of the balls is quite accurate. We don't find any misbehaviors. Maybe we do find some balls uh, that are falling uh, at the beginning, but well, I think that ha that has to do with the code logic that I have, with the collisions, how I have them set up. It's, it is not something that has to do with the physics themselves. Because you can see just physics are being simulated so so accurately there are no gaps between the balls um that that is something that could happen with other physics engines but well as you can see yolt is amazing literally in all meanings of the word when we are reaching close uh, when we are quite close to the 30 seconds here things do start to break a little bit in terms of collisions but well there are just so so many balls that well collisions are impossible to be handled uh, as they should so that is why everything is uh, uh, is not working as it should and breaking but well the the way in which yolt is able to uh, render that many uh, objects in uh, um, in such short amount of time it's it is just amazing okay now let's try out rapier 3d now here as you can see I have the physics engine, the 3D physics engine to be using Rapier 3D and having the exact same setup as the one that I had in Yolt, if I start playing like this, collisions aren't literally being detected and everything starts to fall down, we can still get an idea of the performance that we may be getting but well it's not fair since in Yolt as collisions are being detected, well firstly there we have a con a, something that Yolt is doing that is detecting the collisions and here Rapier is not able to do that uh, and that's the reason why it, it is able to, to render more than 30 frames per second for longer because basically it is not detecting collision that takes a lot of resources of course. I don't really understand why this is happening 
and the only solution that I personally found is basically making the collision uh, bigger, something like, in this case, for this ball, something like 0 0.175, it is going to actually work much, much better, but now we do have that kind of space between every single ball, um, but well, we may be able to get an idea better uh, about uh, Rapier's performance. So now let's uh, start this other test. And, well, as I told you, we do have that gaps in between every single vol. Uh, but, well, at least now collisions are being detected. Actually, collisions in Rapier are detected quite, quite well. And also, the, the performance is also quite good. It is much better than the performance that we may be getting in without physics. But maybe it's not as good as the performance that we may be getting in Yolt Physics. Also, we can see other differences how everything is being stacked up on each other instead of falling. Well, here now they are falling, but well, they, they didn't used to fall, now they are. Uh, so it's also a difference that we can see with Yolt and also with uh, with all Physics that basically objects just uh, tend to fall instead of stacking up. Now we are seeing a comparison about these two Yolt and Rapier 3D being played at the exact same time, so we can see these differences at the same time um so i think that indeed it is a little bit better to understand uh, deeper how they exactly work the main differences between them i would say that of course yolt still has a better performance even better behaviors and it doesn't have any kind of error rapier at least right now when i am recording it does have this small issue but that it, it is quite a uh, something uh, major because it doesn't allow you to create something that is actually quite simple but Yolt as you can see runs uh, with no error uh, and also Yolt has much more work behind than Rapier basically more time behind um, so indeed the quality that it may provide the security of having less uh, errors is also something that we have to consider when choosing an alternative physics engine if we actually want to do that Anyway, I think that both of them, Yolt and Rapier, were able to provide a better performance and better behaviors than the ones that we would have with basically just without physics alone. You probably already know that without physics, um, even more for 3D needs to be improved. They are always actually improving it, but well, it is not enough. So basically, we will see what happens in the future with the default physics engine, but well, the reality right now is that I would say that the best, best a physics engine for 3D is at least YOLT. Anyway, we will see what uh, happens in the near future. If there is anything new in Rapier, YOLT, etc., I will be posting it right away. So if you want to be the first one on knowing the latest news about Godot, the add-ons, Godot physics, etc., make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.